You know, I'm the holy righteous man of God. All these people are fake. I'm the holy one that is holy. I'm going to heaven and everybody is fake. All these first, first prophet, all these first, first deliverance preacher, I am the righteous man of God. I preach only the word and I'm holy. You are a liar. You don't need to tell us that you are holy. By your fruit, we will know you. If you have the fruit of righteousness, you will not attack. Uh, and you will not attack your co-brother to build your pedigree and credibility your credibility will be built by God and not by you yes your character is important but you don't have to assassinate destroy others in order to look important am I happy so it was a setup set up the law of Moses that they quoted they coated it avazatly. No. Upside down, Christian. Upside down, minded. The read the Bible upside down. The look upside down. Upside down, Christians. Upside down, minded. The read the Bible upside down. They look upside down. The law of Moses said, you have to bring the man and the woman and stone. They edited the part of the man. So it was a masculine attack on the gender, on the female. So all the male gathered to set up a woman. It was a gender attack. It was all brothers against one woman, an innocent woman. They attack, 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 attack. And when I look at that scripture very well, I see betrayal. It means that somebody, the lover that she committed the adultery with, deceived her and planned with the Pharisees and the scribe in order to convince her. She was the only innocent person in the midst of the camp. She loved it all her heart and fell into a trap. She never knew that they were planning to use her for number four. Uh, to score political point, a religious point. In the reason why they did that was to capture Jesus, indict him, and ask Jesus to command them so that they can kill the woman, so they can put the death of the woman on Jesus. They were not interested in the woman. They needed to use the woman to score a point. Some of you, they will manipulate you to leave your father in order to showcase you just to make your father feel bad. Who they feel bad? I get children too much. I don't know which one I go call children. Am I talking? They are using you just to score points. You are not relevant. They will manipulate you and dump you. They are using you to score points. They will put you and say, sit down, let them know that you have come to our church. It's not because they love you, it's because they want to use you to score cheap points. Sit down. Sit down. <laughs> Somebody once told me. Say, Papa. He said, people, people are some people are leaving you. I said, me. People are leaving me. How many people? You know how many people they come? You know how many people they come? You are talking about five people when 500 have come. Who knows who they live? I don't know who they live. You, how can you narrow the church of God to your own exit? That's why some people are dying of hypertension. Because they, are, they say, ah, ah, then the next time they say, ah, oh, he's doing something, he's using something. We thought that the place would have been empty. I don't know, I don't know. Can I talk to somebody? 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 Can I don't let them use you for experiment. Don't let them use you for experiment. They come to lie against your husband so that you can leave the house because they are jealous of your marriage. When you now leave, they say, I to her. You are the one that will suffer because they are using you to score cheap points. Am I helping somebody? 
Is it sinking? 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 They caught her, they brought her, they arraigned her, they prepared charges, and they brought it forth before the chief judge, who is also the judge and the attorney. And they said, A, B, C, D is what she has done. They did not touch her. They wanted a word from him in order to destroy. Some of you, they will manipulate everything and come to your helper so that your helper should pass death sentence on you so that they can support and put it on your helper's head. They know they can't destroy you without manipulating your helper there are people no matter what i preach now now dog way one loss he no go hear whistle of hunter in brain they don't manipulate you go they, you go they see how they do say she know what is they do they have turned your brain upside down you will no longer see good in where you get goodness i, I greeted papa Papa didn't answer me. Now greeting, now you want chop on a resort you need. So I, I greeted Papa. Papa answered me, but he did not smile. Now smile, you want chop on the God of the altar. Because Papa might not even know he's busy. I sent text, he did not reply me. Now reply of text, now you want chop. On the answer to glory of your life. When you come around your prophet, stop looking for entertainment. Look for entitlement. You don't get me. Look for entitlement. You are not around for entertainment. You are not around your prophet for comedy. You are here to commence your life into advancement. Am I communicating? Something is about to change. 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 Shout that fire three times. Hear this. The Bible said Jesus lifted up himself. I love that. He lifted up himself. And answered them. All the time. Jesus talked. Two times. He didn't talk. Sitting down. Lifted up himself. Because when they are railing accusation, you don't sit down. You stand up to defend. Jesus became her lawyer. I love this. Now, listen to me. When you have case in your life, the lawyer that we present you will determine whether you win or fail. Sometimes your man of God is your spiritual attorney. Standing in, interceding, asking for the supernatural one who can crown, which is our mediator, who is our forever intercessor, the internal rock of ages, Jesus, to trigger him to respond to you. Any one of you that know you don't have sin, cast the stone. Real lawyers don't talk anyhow. When they ask you one question, you'll be scattered. If you know, that's when you go to law court and a lawyer speak one grammar and you don't understand. Ask and make it break into smaller particles. Don't just say, yes, 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 my Lord. You are, yes, my Lord. You have finished your destiny. They will encapsulate one powerful grammar. And you will not know the meaning of the grammar. They will just throw up. You know, Mumu, you say, yes, my Lord. Yes, my Lord. And you say, I rest my case. And the, the, the judge will, uh, will say, he accepted that he was a criminal. When you hear language and you don't understand, say, break it to smaller particles. Uh, I cannot understand. Uh, don't pretend. Don't allow lawyer to turn your brain. That's why they call them my learned colleague. Don't be in a hurry to prove that you know where you don't know. It's not every English language you can answer. It is not every time you respond to your enemy. You have to study the case. Study it carefully and understand when to talk and when not to talk. If you don't know the answer, keep quiet and smile and laugh at your calamity and say, I have no answer for you because silence is the best answer to a fool. Can I preach to somebody here? Can I preach to somebody here? This year, your enemies will see your glory. Ah! Shot fire three times. 
Shot fire. Shot fire. Shot fire. Shot fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sit down. Let me begin to round up. And the first one, remember that he was a liar. He dropped his stone. The second one, remember that he had, he had just finished beating his wife. Drop his stone. Another one, remember that huh? he has taken about seven cartons of Gulda. Drop his stone. Another one, remember that he has slept with more than six women. Drop his stone. All of them begin to drop one. So, all, everybody that ever accused them, accused her, all of them was guilty of one sin or the other. What does this mean? People who talk about you are worse than you. If you see anybody, quick to point an accusing finger, check them. Worst. Men of God who are specialists in talking about other men of God. Specialists in talking about other men of God. Only you one, you are the only man of God. You have cast, all your pastors are trekking. And when they ask you, say you are holy. And then you are the one telling other people that other man of God is not holy. You cannot forgive. You cannot forgive. 25 years now, some of your sons have left you. You are malicing them. And when you talk, you are preaching law, holiness. You are talking about love, 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 love. Which love are you preaching? That you have not forgiven your vice president or two IC that left you for 25 years. What kind of man of God are you when you don't understand how to sort your tongue with grace? Your family members are suffering. People are dying because you have refused to take care of them. And you are saying you love. You don't love. When I was giving out cars here, giving out money to poor people, there are men of God who rise up. Hey! It's not true. Why is he giving publicly? Now, check them. Everybody is giving publicly. Giving publicly. Even one mudu of Gary, one tuba of Yab, they will give publicly. I ask, why should you condemn what you will become later? You don't accuse. Listen to me. In this end time, if you don't get mad, they'll go bury you. You have to be a lawyer for yourself and make sure you don't close your mouth. Are you hearing me? Don't close your mouth. There are people that deserve to hear your reply. Not because you are fighting, because you know your right as a child of God. There is nobody that created the heaven that you and I is going. There is nobody that is going to judge you. God is going to judge every one of us. You cannot judge me when you and I are going to stand on the day of judgment. If you don't know what to say, shut up. Sit down, please. Man of God is dealing with you, telling you that you're a prostitute, that you are aborted. Tell him to first check his daughter. The ones that have aborted, the man of God, their daughters will give, will be pregnant, they will abort, fly the, the daughter abroad, cover up, and they will not give the daughter vaccine, but they will give other sisters vaccine for one year, two years. Who are you deceiving? Are you accusing me? What level of wickedness do you carry? If you want to serve God, let your tongue be salted with grace. When you see people preach about grace, I don't attack them too much because I understand what they are trying to say. I just don't like the excesses. But hear me! Before you talk about me, can we talk about you? Can we talk about you? You see a sister talking about a man of God. You wait the smoke. Where they smoke your mad Namoto Salensa with Buddha. Who are you to judge a man of God that God is using to save lives? Yeah, Kataman. Can I teach you? Can I teach you? Can I teach you? Can I help somebody here? Uh, am I too far? 
Am I going too deep? Am I going too deep? You are attacking prophets, saying prophets are not genuine, but you are prophesying as a word based preacher. You not go prophesy openly, but you prophesy in the secret and do as if you are a prophet. When you are not a prophet, you are attacking what you are practicing behind. Who are you, hypocrite? Oh, Lord, oh, Rabata. Oh, Dredge, oh, my chest. You are saying, why are they using oil? But you are praying for people and telling them to bring oil secretly. You are saying, why are they using water? You are praying for people, telling them to bring water secretly. You are doing prophetic action secretly. But when you come about, you pretend and do as if you are what place. Who are you deceiving? At least we are doing our own openly, showing and supporting by scripture. We are not hypocrite. This is what I tell young minister. Don't let any man of God, not even Joshua Aguilar, box you on the corner for the conviction of what God has spoken to you. When not, I'm not there when God speaks to you. When God spoke to you, I cannot because I'm not your God. I'm not the one who called you. Let every man be convicted by what God has spoken to him to carry out. No man is a physical God here. We have one father and that father is who we are answerable to. Stop making yourself a demigod. Who are you to judge the work? You cannot judge another man's servant. Can I teach you? The reason why most of you you are ashamed to identify. You want to appease an honorary man and not God. Oh God. You deserve it, Lord. You deserve it. You deserve it. Yes, you do, Lord. You deserve
sit down. Sit down. Jesus lifted up himself the second time. Woman, is there anyone that have condemned him? I was expecting him to say, You useless woman, you stupid woman. So many of us fight for our heavenly father. What our heavenly father will not do is what we are doing as earthly children. And at the end, we think we are defending and fighting for him. We end up being punished by our heavenly father because of what we have done. Because the mind of our heavenly father is not in us. If men were God, oh yeah, the lead, the rich man will leave. The rich man will leave. Oh yeah, and the poor man will die. If men were God, if men were to be God, so many people will not make heaven. They will pack all the tribal people to heaven and block the road of heaven for tribalism. If men were God, some barrack boys like us will not make heaven. If men were God, some of you sisters were not near the altar, but thank God they are not God. If men were God, they would have chucked the bread out of you so that you don't even come near to the presence of God. But thank God they are not God. Ah, if men were God, they would have blocked you so that you never even have a square meal to eat. But thank God they are not God. They judge on behalf of God. They condemn on behalf of God. Even this heavenly father get angry for what they do. Because God is not man. He will not. He will not do what the sons of men are doing. And thank God that our judgment is not going to be in their hands. If our judgment is going to be in their hands, some of us will not near the gate of heaven. How much more the windows? I said, Is there any that have condemned you? And then she lifted up her head. She didn't see anybody. Jesus did not ask her, How did you commit the sin? How did this start? What time? Give me the details. I need to hear the details. He wasn't interested in that. He was interested in she going and seeing no more. That is the true nature of love. When the true nature of love comes, we are looking at, are you standing in the faith? Are you going out of the sin? Walking into everlasting life? It's not who did and how it happened. It's how are you about to live after this? Genesis 41 verse 14 listen to me you are about to be discharged and acquitted then Pharaoh sent and called Joseph when your time come to be discharged and acquitted they will send for you ah I said they will send for you I said they will send for you ah they, I said they will send for you ah then Jehovah called Joshua. Ah, 
Elizabeth, they are calling you where they kept you. Well, where was Joseph? Joseph was in prison. Who sent for him? Pharaoh. Ah, listen to me. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Let me just talk. Let me let me recalculate this and tell you. Who put Joseph there? Potiphar. By what charges? An allegation and accuser, the wife of Potiphar. And listen to me. When I begin to study this, then I study hierarchy in the police force, in the military force. Then I understand when a deputy commissioner of police hold you ransom for something, a commissioner of police can overturn what the deputy commissioner does. When a deputy, when a commissioner of police hold you ransom, an AIG can overturn. If an AIG hold you ransom for something, a DIG can overturn. If a DIG hold you ransom, the inspector general can overturn. If the inspector general hold you ransom, the commander in chief of the armed forces can overturn. I came in the name of the commander in chief of the armed forces to overturn. I don't know who hold you ransom, but I overturn. I overrun. I said discharge and acquitted. 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 You are coming out. You are coming out. Potiphar was staying in the house and the wife. And they had Joseph don't come out. Your enemies will hear you don't come out. Ah, 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 ah. Discharge and acquitted. That case is over. You will not be rearrested. You will not be rearranged. I prophesy. Your accuser will keep quiet. I put them on permanent kumatos. The louder the amen, the quicker a miracle. Sit up. Put that same verse 14. Let me read it quickly. And they brought him steely out of the dungeon. <laughs> When your time come for you to be discharged and acquitted, they will bring you out hastily. Somebody say hastily, hastily, kia kia, immediately. So there I prophesy, they will bring you out hastily. You are coming out in a hurry. You are coming out in a hurry. I say you they come out fast, fast. I prophesy. Anyone that say your water no go boy, he all no go boy. He all go be ice block. I prophesy. Either they like it or not, in 2021, God is bringing you out hastily. Put verse 14 again. See that. And he saved himself. I love this. When God discharge you and acquit you, there will be a shaving. A shaping. Shaka manaku yakata huyata. Zopranta koto pratika parada. Zunta ikalatika porataya. Zukata. Nakosikata. Sisters, your look will change. Brothers, your look will change. Who saved himself? Joseph. Ha ha ha. Why are you looking like you are the one that killed Jesus? Make up so that your enemy knows say you they are alive. Are you hearing me? Put on the better cloth. Let them know that you are not dead. That you are alive. Do you know why you are discharged and acquitted? Put verse 14 again. And did what? And changed his raiment. And came. He changed his raiment. Garment. Wear better clothes. Jacoba. Where did he got the clothes? I don't know how he came. But when you are discharged and acquitted, many gifts will begin to come. Your clothes will change. Your face will change. Everything will change. You know they hear me well. Jacoba. You know, you know what makes people to be old? 
is when you are thinking too much. When you are thinking too much, even your body and your brain cell will say, ha, this guy is about to die. Let's produce old woman, old woman, old age, old age, old age, old age. I prophesy, you are discharged and acquitted. Sit down. I asked one of the members, why are you dressing like this? I said, Papa, problem, I don't even know what I wear. You wear one socks, red, the other one, white. Then the cloth is just upside down. Came to meet me for counseling. Long sleeve, day in, out. When trouble meets you, you don't know how to dress. You don't know how to dress. When trouble meets you, if you want to draw the eye pencil, you don't know where you go put up. You go draw and go here. Even when you go here, you go to say you don't arrive. You're not going to say you go. When trouble meets you, you're not going to know how to draw a pencil. I'm going to be all call, all call, all call. Even when you rub the powder, you, you go, see the way you go rub the powder, you're going to say, masquerade of calabar is decorated. You will put the, you put the makeup, you go draw and draw and draw. Come put that, pa, pa, pa. Come do pop, pop, yeah. Pop, 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 pop. You will not, you, you don't know what they decorate. Nah, not nah, trouble now. Nah. You they see yourself a mirror, they say three, 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 three. Then you say, who is the real? Are you the one? Or you are the one? I prophesy. That trouble will leave you. Listen to me, my daughters, my sons. Don't allow any problem to swallow you. Discharge and acquit yourself. You are going to enjoy this life. Those who are saying that it will not be better for you, tell them back fire by fire. They will see your glory. You will reply them with your result. The louder the amen, the quicker a miracle. Shout amen three times. Put verse 15. Supernatural speed. You know why I talk about speed? Because if you are not released, you can't run. You can't talk about speed in somebody under confinement. And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, I had a dream. And there is none to interpret. Now speed won't happen now. When God wants to give you speed, he go hit the head of your enemy. He will not put the answer in your hands. You are not getting me. This has speed happen. Now, now Pharaoh, now in trouble Joseph. Now God can trouble him. Those who are fighting you, God will give them problems so that you can solve. Are you ready for speed? Joseph was up. Some of you think speed is running. No. Speed is when God gives you solution that nobody else has. Now your are now you did. Somebody says speed. Supernatural speed. Somebody says supernatural speed. What others use 30 years to run over in Abuja to do? I did it in few years. Few years. That's why everyone of them. Who is Jesus Aguilar? Where did he come from? Where did he come from? Who is his spirit? Even when they know my spirit of an ally, they know they agree. Why? My speed is the problem. When you get speed, people will come to look you. No go the verse. You know why? The feet say you are not supposed to pass them. Ah yeah. Some neighbor. Mutilo. Stand up, stand up, stand up now. Stand up like somebody that wants to run. Igada, Zogada, Zogada, Zogada. Single sisters here. Yeah. Single sisters here. Yeah. This year is your year. The way you are shouting, I don't know whether you are hearing me. All the bachelors, manchelos, fatherless, grandfatherless, great grandfatherless, all of them that are in this church. Today, I give you speed to marry. Kia, kia. That is due to marry, yet yeah, that refuse to not that refuse and don't want to marry. Angel of sweet cane, flog them until they marry, flog them until they marry, flog them until they marry. Are you ready to pray? 
They must marry. I will be walking around and asking you, when are you going to marry? I say, angel of sweet king. Lako Sataya. Leko para. You will not be passing around my daughters and be looking at her and say, wonderful sister. Well done. Sister on fire. God bless you. Atroe salute. Today, I capture you with the trap of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Say, my father, my father.